today is gonna be part two of my Eddie Brock Venom Blacklight Funko Pop Target exclusive hunt. <laughs> that was that was a tongue twister. <laughs> hey, so so today's gonna be part two of that. Full disclaimer on this though, before we like get out of here and we like get off on this hunt, I have failed at this twice now. And so I just recently seen that they're starting to hit the shelves again. I'm going to give this one more time and then I'm just gonna accept the fact that either I do have it or I don't have it, and I'll take you along with me and we'll we'll see what the outcome is. So hey look, this is about as far as I can take y'all. Now I'm gonna try and sneak you in as much as I can, but we all know that I've gotten in trouble filming in Target before, so I, I'm I'm going to be super incognito about my filming. So if it looks like it's some kind of spy cam going on, it's probably because I got some kind of spy cam going on. But fingers crossed that they got this Eddie Brock in there. Let's let's get in there and go see. But I feel like maybe I'm gonna have to take the L on this pop. I mean, maybe I'm getting close to the time that I'm gonna have to recognize defeat. But check this out real quick. I am going to blame Target completely on this drop. Look, Target did three things that hindered my ability to get my hands on this guy because I live 45 minutes away. And when you live 45 minutes away from a Target, you kind of have to plan and have a little bit of knowledge as to what's going on when they get ready to, to drop these things. So one, Target did no, no pre-orders on this pop whatsoever. So you couldn't go on their website, you couldn't pre-order this pop. Two, they didn't give us a release date at all all when it came down to it. They just decided that they were going to throw them in the stores with no release dates and nothing like that. Three, they didn't do a quantity cap on these guys. So this actually happened to me. There was a gentleman standing in front of me. They had six of these guys in the box. He bought all six of them because they didn't limit the amount that he could buy. So he literally bought all six of them right in front of me. 
Target kind of dropped the ball on us as collectors, but hey, look, I don't honestly think Target likes us as collectors. They always give us a super hard time when we're standing in line. They don't want us filming. They, they, they have all of these funny things and quirks about them that tells me that they honestly don't appreciate us as collectors anyways, and they just keep getting these really hot exclusives that are drawing us into the store. I'm not really sure why, but hey, look, before you run out to the secondary market to get this guy, remember they are doing a restock at this moment, so go to your local Target and if if you know somebody at Target, hit them up and ask them if they're there. I mean, because the odds are that they are kind of funneling in at this very moment. So just make sure you're going to your Target and checking these guys before you go to the secondary market because the secondary market is the reason why we're having this problem right now. Everybody keeps going to the secondary market and they keep paying two and three hundred dollars for a pop. If they would stop, these guys would quit going to Target, they'd quit going to Walmart, they'd quit buying them all up, and then us as collectors could go in there and, and pick them up. Now that's just my little like rant for the day. And if you found any of this that you, you thought that you liked and you enjoyed, how about throw a comment down below? Because hey, look, I really enjoy doing these style videos, and I'd like to know if you enjoy seeing these style of videos from me. Before we get out of here guys there's a lot of really awesome black light pops on the way we have ant-man that's going to be coming in we have the 10 inch hulk that is oh man this thing is going to be epic and depending on where these guys drop will we'll just depend on how hard they're going to be to get our hands on before we get out of here don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on those notifications and become part of the wayne co crew there is no wayne co crew without you and i truly truly appreciate you watching until next time have a good one